and a weather go. Go West McGraw gave away about three four length start. Chills the first one to respond to the starter's orders. Autopilot in the orange silks is right there, close up in the early stages. Platinum Coast just off the first call. The big league towards the inside, Cognac on ice. Then comes Muttley further back in the running. They're racing seven, eight off the leader. Chills going a good tempo in front, and Chill gets away three four lengths to the good. Cat in command, go West Madraw. Dozen lengths off the leaders, Western Day and Ambani's further back in the running, and Regal Legion the trailer. Thousand metre disc behind them, no turning back for Chill, escaped by three. Autopilots in second, Cognac on ice third. The big league towards the inside. Blue and red silks, then comes Muttley. Platinum Coast, Go West McGraw gets a little bit of encouragement. He's got nine, ten lengths to trace down. Cat in command further back, Western Day and Ambani and Regal Legion, the last two. 500 metres to go, Chill, trying to make each and every stride a winning one. Clear out your by, four lengths at the top of the lane. Chill, telling him to come out and catch him. Autopilot second, the big league towards the inside. The grey go West McGraw to the inside. 300 to go, Chill still enjoys a four length advantage. Cat in command looks to run on, Cognac on ice the outside. Chill's now getting wary, and Cat in command. That's the horse to beat. The big league's now running on but cat in command came pouncing through to win it chill fought on for second then came the big league behind these autopilot in photos in the minor positions but cat in command rises up today yes cat in command Stuart randolph picks up the ride here and well done to the pat lunn stable this son of black minaluge for the van hastings They've always rated him a bit and certainly appreciated the poly year. His last run on the poly, he stayed on behind Apple Pie, 1,600. He sliced through them at the 200, and he won with a bit of authority, Cat in command. you got to say, Chill, he did not throw in the towel, because coming to the 250, he was a beaten warrior. It looked like he was going to go out the back door, but he continued to rally. So number one, Chill stays on for second. He just outdid the big league autopilot, and Ambani from off the gallop was staying on late. Then the grey go West McGraw. Cognac on ice, Platinum Coast, further back in the running, Regal Legion. Chill set some real good fractions in front. He was a tough horse to beat at the top of the lane. He got away four, five lengths. But you could just see coming to the last 200, he just about had enough. And Cat in command comes out the pack. Chill, though, he does not throw in the tail completely. It looks like they're all going to swamp him, but only Cat in command goes on. And Chill, he stays on resolutely for a second. You've got to take your hat off to him for trying that last 150. He could have folded up, but he stays on. But all about number seven, Cat in command. In those day glow yellow silks with the purple spots of the Van Hastings. So well done to Pat Lunn and all the connections. He's notched up his second victory from the eight runs to date. Back to the studio. A good win here for number seven, Cat in Command, the son of Black Manaloos, bred by Mr. and Mrs. Erasmus, and uh, racing in the colors of Brown van Hastien. Stuart Randolph picked up the ride, and uh, he bided his time uh, with a decent pace set up front, and he came through at the right time. Nice win here from your horse, Pat, and um, a horse that uh, he promised a lot early on in his career. Yeah, look, he's been very unlucky. He's been plagued with unsoundness. Uh, I see they've got him at the top of him now. Um, he ran a fair race last time in the 1400, ran fifth, probably a little bit too short. Mm. Uh, the time before that in Marisburg when Fourier rode him, he got badly checked on the inside fence. They've dropped him a bit in the, in the ratings, which is nice. And um, I always rated this horse quite highly. Yes. Just, as I say, he's just been played with unsoundness. But I, and I hope he, um, I think now he should, you know, he's, he's got very nice acceleration. And I think he should, he should win a few more races. Busy day for you today. You brought some nice horses to the races and still a busy afternoon. Yes, yeah, I've got a few more running. All got luck. This one was probably going to be my best, I thought. Hamlin Bay, I thought, had a place chance. They ran, ran seventh. Mm -hmm. All the others have all got like place chances. And um, I'd like to thank Brahm as well for his support. He bought me a few horses. He's done very well with his horse. You know, he's, when he won his maiden, he had a very good win. Mm. I think today he also had a nice little bet on him. So I'd like to thank him as well. Compliments to the yard, Pat. The string's looking good? Yes, looking very well. I'd like to thank Lloyd as well. does a lot of work. And, and also my daughter, Jessica. They, they also work very hard at stables. Well played, well done. Thanks very much, Doc. Lovely. Stuart Randolph. Stu, 
Well, you, you timed this one to perfection because some, some decent fractions were set up front by the, by the kid. Yeah, they went along, so I was a little bit further back than I wanted to be, which was fine. I just gave him that breather and I must say he produced a good finish coming to the straight. At, at one stage, it looked like the, the kid got away at the right time, but he, obviously his horse was, uh, was laboring a bit. That's the thing, you know, you got a bit too hard up front, it's, you're going to see the end, but uh, it's all about energy management, as they say. Uh, but no, a big thank you to Mr. Lunn and Lloyd, and well done to Brom from Hastings. Well, we, we're all learning about this track, I'm sure you, your jock's in the same boat, but you know, you, you've got a horse that can accelerate as your horse did, yeah, you, you can make up the ground and make it up comfortably. Yeah, absolutely, Deez. I mean, you've seen in the early races, horses have uh, been caught three wide, they've kicked on from near the back, they've one from up there, all depending on the pace, obviously. Um, it's, I think it's a pretty fair track. You can win wherever you've got the best clear run and you've got the best horse that's going to do it. How's uh, Stuart Randolph's uh, balance of his rides looking? Got a mixed bag. Uh, we'll see how we go. Just some place chances. I'm not too sure of them. I've, some of them sitting on them for the first time, so we'll see how we go on this new track with them. It's amazing how these chance rides work out for you guys. Yeah. You've seen Sean pick up one. You've picked up one now. Yeah, you get that trend where a guy gets off. Uh, shame uh, Sorry for Ian, but, you know, it's the guys who pick up the rides end up scoring. So, you know, that's how it goes. It's the way the game goes. And, and on a lighter note, to qualified pilot now, Stu? Uh, yeah, we haven't been for a while. Just got to save up, but glad I had this winner. Can go towards the kitty f some, for some fuel. <laughs> well played. Well done, yeah. Thanks, Artis. Thank you. Lovely. Stuart Randolph, uh, number seven, cat in command, has come through to open up the first leg of the jackpot. If you caught this quartet, the numbers you'll need, seven, one, three, and four. That's your provisional result. Race number five, and the exotics are all done and dusted. But uh, you can still get involved in all to come bets, races six through to ten.